Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's time for another lovely tea TV shout out. So I want to go ahead and shout out ChinaLaceWigs.com. They're the ones who provided me this beautiful unit. It's a 370 lace wig. It's basically an upgrade from the 360 lace wig. It comes with the six inch deep part. It's pre-plucked, it has baby hairs. It's 100% human hair, and this is 22 inches long, and it's 180% density. If you guys want to know more about this wig or check out some other wigs on their website, all of the information will be pinned down below, and the link will take you directly to ChinaLaceWigs.com. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Rob Kardashian and Black China situation. So if you guys do not know, the other day was two days ago. It was Dream's second birthday. So Dream has turned to, and so all of her family members were posting pictures of her and wishing her happy birthday. She's definitely an adorable little girl, and she's definitely getting big. <laughs> From your grandma in Tokyo. The second birthday. Let's hope this balloon gets to you. Get it, AC. So anyhow, if you guys don't know, Rob Kardashian is now taking Black China to court. He wants to lower his child support payments. Um, last year, the judge awarded Black China $20,000 a month in child support. And now Rob is saying that he can no longer afford to pay her. He's not making money like that. She's ruined his reputation. It's hard for him to get work. And being that he has 50-50 joint custody, why should he have to pay $20,000 a month? I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the documents from the court case. Go ahead and check this out. In the documents, Rob Kardashian says, it's been extraordinarily difficult time for me emotionally. I have no desire to continue participating in the reality show. I would, like to I would like to maintain my privacy, try to recover from emotional damage from the past several months, and explore other business ventures. So then they go on to say that Arthur George, designer, is claiming China has capitalized on their drama and growing her network to a reported $1.4 million. Now the Kardashian is claiming that his income has dwindled from $100K per month at the time of their split to less than $10,000 all the while, Dream's mother earns about 60 per month because of this drastic income differential. Rob believes that Black China should actually be the one paying him. His lawyers are estimating that based on what Black China earns, he should be collecting $2,864 a month for his 50-50 custody of Dream. Honey... All right, so you guys just heard me read that statement. So, you know, this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I am convinced that child support, you know what I'm saying, is nothing more than just a hustle for a lot of these women. There's no reason why anybody needs 20 grand a month to take care of a two-year-old child, period. So if that's not crazy enough, Matt Barnes decided to step into the shade room, and all he did was just basically, you know what I'm saying, give Rob a black power fist, he didn't say anything, but of course, Black China got in her feelings because as we all know, because I just covered this the other day, Matt Barnes won full custody, okay? Full sole custody of his twin boys from Gloria Govan. So I guess once Black China seen him giving Rob the, you know, the Black Power Fist, it made Black China feel some type of way. So she decided to respond back to Matt Barnes' Power Fist. And this is what Black China said. She says, at Matt Barnes, don't know no, bruh. Mind your own business, loser. I think she meant to say, don't know you, bruh. But again, being in her feelings, she misspelled the word. So Matt Barnes being the king of petty, honey, he was like, you know what, bitch? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You can drop off your kid and run my thing. Today I got time, cuz. Y'all know that is my favorite meme. When I tell you he came back petty as hell, he told Black China, back to the pole you go, okay? Back to the pole you go. Back to the pole you go. 
Back to the 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 pole you go. Somebody decides to remix that, I'm not even gonna be mad. See, that's what happens, Black China, when you don't sit down and eat your damn food, okay? He was like, back to the pole you go. I fell the hell out. So of course, after he wrote that, everybody on social media started roasting her in the shade room. So then she ran to Snapchat and she basically said, she's sick of niggas. Okay, and you know what I'm saying? Matt Barnes had the right to his opinion. He didn't even say anything. All he did was put up a fist. You got in your feelings. You try to clap back at him and he basically roasted your ass, okay? Now, I haven't even looked at the comments and really seen what's going on, but we have a broken system and we all know that, man. So if she wants to get mad because I threw a fist up supporting a fellow dude going through some custody shit, that's on her. I'm not tripping off that. So there, we know the system is broken. It don't cost 60000 50000 40000 20000 to raise no children. We all know that. Most of these women are out here buying cars, bags, taking vacations off that child support money. So if I want to support another dude going through some bullshit, I'm going to do it. And at the end of the day, keep it real, all I did was put a fist up. I didn't comment on the situation because I really don't know it. I'm just supporting bro because I know it don't cost that much to raise no goddamn baby. So if that made you mad, fuck you. Fuck whoever else that made mad, that's just what it is. It's sad that women these days use kids as paychecks. Uh, that's partly our blame, because we, our stupid asses get these women pregnant, but these are children, they're not paychecks, and a lot of you women out there use these kids for paychecks, and we coming for y'all asses. Personal opinion, this is how I feel about this whole custody case, about this whole child support case. No two-year-old needs 20 grand a month in child support, okay? This child support hustle has just become a redam dickless. This is not about jealousy. I feel like the way to stop these gold diggers and these women from sitting here hustling the whole child support system, one, a lot of these guys need to be responsible for where they damn sling their peen, okay? So that's number one. But two, if they would cut out these crazy child support amounts, you would have women not using child support and pregnancy as a damn hustle, okay? No two-year-old child needs 20 grand a month to survive what is she shitting in gucci diapers okay what is she drinking goddamn fendi formula like what the fuck you know what i'm saying why does she need 20 grand a month to take care of her child meanwhile you got regular women out here able to take care of multiple children making less than three thousand dollars a month so i think her getting 20 grand a month is ridiculous okay now him wanting her to pay him child support because they have a 50 50 joint custody i think that's silly as well how about nobody pays child support? How about Black China doesn't get 20 grand a month? And how about Rob Kardashian doesn't get $2,800 a month? At the end of the day, this child does not want for anything. When she leaves Rob Kardashian's house, she's not going to the slums, you know what I'm saying, of East LA some damn where. She's going from one nice big ass house to another nice big ass house. When she leaves Black China's house, she's not going from Black China's beautiful home to the damn projects. So I don't understand why either one of them have to pay child support if they have 50-50 joint custody. I can see Black China have full custody, but even then, I don't believe that she deserves 20 grand a month. So I do believe that Rob Kardashian definitely has a case. Me, personally, I feel like neither one of them should get any child support. They should just take care of their child worth or without child support because neither one of them are hurting for money. Black China's worth a lot of money and Rob Kardashian's worth a lot of money. So all of this back and forth and, you know, her wanting 20 grand a month, it's just being petty, okay? At the end of the day, Rob Kardashian put himself in this situation because a leopard never changes their spots, okay? It's Basically, she trapped his ass and he's been paying for this shit for the past year, but now it's starting to really affect him. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. When I tell you I am here for Matt Barnes and all his damn pettiness, honey, okay, he had me cracking up. Again, don't poke nobody who wasn't talking to you. He was talking to Rob Kardashian. So for Black China to come at him foul, she deserved that damn clap back because at the end of the day, he's not a loser. He's a man who took matters into his own hand and was able to gain full custody of his twin sons. You know what I'm saying? Instead of sitting there bitching and whining and complaining on social media like some of these celebrity men do, he actually went to court and he fought for his children. So in my book, Matt Barnes is not a loser, okay? You're the loser trolling the shade room trying to confront people about your messy ass situation with Rob. Rob Kardashian. Now, how you doing? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey, concerning Rob Kardashian and Black China going back and forth about child support. And then Black China calling herself trying to drag Matt Barnes and Matt Barnes coming back with the mother of all clapbacks, okay? Matt Barnes is messy as hell, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey. Once again, concerning Rob Kardashian, Black China, and Matt Barnes getting drugged and clapping back on her ass, okay? Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. Miss Gay! <laughs>
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.